in search of the Elden Ring. Uh, there was something in the pen. Only I could like go up. There's an item there. Look. Oh, there's a chest. Tell me that's something good. A cookbook. Got there. Yeah. Maybe the tower has something. Another Ash of War, it seems. Oh no, it's a somber smithing stone. Really appreciate those. See, that there's a lot of stuff here. Oh! Golden seed! So all of this just to... <laughs> uh, get extremely over-leveled for the first boss of the game. The first major boss. It doesn't matter. matters that we do what we have to do to finish up the game i'm not really uh kind of guy that fears being over leveled and stuff what matters that we have fun my friends we enjoy ourselves and i believe there's like a dragon over there. oh and there's a, a church wait a second And by the way, Elden Ring really puts the run for your life and forget the enemies feeling on you. <laughs> like, almost every time I get to this lake, I do this. I just run around and try to figure out uh, what I have to do. Oh no. Oh no. Got a bot here. Yeah, this guy's not fun. He uses blood too, so be careful. Oh, he did. Come on, that's it? God fucking damn it. Well, this church will be important. Oh, whenever I... I think there's another Scythe of Grace here. Like, because... I remember we just had to, like... Uh, go straight. It was on an island. This game is... It, Elden Ring is so big. It's so difficult to like remember. Oh, there it is. Everything from from your past playthroughs. You have to be really good on memory to like know the, all of this. But we'll have to come here eventually uh, to finish up uh, the finger guy quest. This guy's quest, white mask. Varte. So, pretty good we, we already have that set alone. Also, since I'm here, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and like run through the dragon and get like a key. That's very important. Chorus. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it. 
I'll try it anyway. I just need to remember where that was. Excuse me. Oh, there's a grace there. <laughs> Saved by the grace. Okay. Oh, I think he's there. I think he's over there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I see him. I see him. <laughs> Yo, boy. I don't think we can kill him, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's too strong. So what we're going to do? I'm going to get these things. And we're going to get out of here. You know what? Maybe I can kill him. my god one hit yeah he's too strong but we'll come we'll come back to him what we needed we got uh which was this item over here uh the academy glintstone key key to open the academy uh two sealed gates so whenever we come to the academy which is right there uh, when we meet the gates, we can uh, pass right through them. So pretty, pretty nice. Uh, just trying to remember if there's anything else, but I don't think so. I know there's a map on this side. This is where we will find another character. Oh God, fuck that. Do not follow that voice. It will lead you to this thing. Fucking annoying dudes. What up? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely should not be here. I should not be here. <laughs> Just run. Oh, dude, where the fuck is the map? I thought the map was right, right around here. Maybe it's up. Huh. Maybe it's on the other way. Might be. Oh, we can continue. So no big deal. Oh, look at you. Jellyfish shield. Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna use that. No, forget it. Forget it. Oh, maybe the spell is here. Oh, 
Okay, be careful with the glintstone fucking grenades. Those are annoying. Oh my god. No. Bad idea. No! Sorry. Problem with magic. Pretty annoying, right? I do not remember. Is there anything good here? These fuckers. Well, I think it's fair. I haven't played much uh, in this playthrough, in the uh, in today's session. So I think it's okay. Uh, maybe I just like run up. I don't remember what you can find up here, but I can try and see. Let's go. Th there's a lot of running in this game. A lot of running. Oh, great. Just missed that. Okay, so there's two chests there. We already know that. Oh, fuck. Oh, excuse me? Oh, I think I know what it is. This is actually pretty good. So the chests are not important. What's important is what we find up this path. Which are these towers. Oh my god. Okay. So we will definitely need to use one of these. This will give me a key, right? Yeah, imbued sword key. Okay. So one of these keys will be used to go to the beginning of the game. So I think, yeah, this is where this path leads. So we have to go back to the lake. And go around the dragon and up. So we've done almost everything, but killed the first major boss of the game. <laughs> uh, also, but before I finish up, I'm going to try and get that buff for the weapon. Uh, we'll get around that right after we, we get the map from this. As well. Oh, there it is. I knew it. Yeah, as you go, uh, you will actually remember some stuff. I feel it's fine uh, if, if you go buy, buy things. Uh, I do not think 
doing 100% in Elden Ring is mandatory to have fun with it. Because there's so much to do. Ooh, another stem. Fuck that. Also, there's one of those uh, enemies that looks like the first boss that we, we die to in the game. Uh, he comes up around this lake and he drops, I think it's a golden seed or is a larval, larval tear. I will try to find that dude. Not that we will use the tear much, but either way. Is there any? Is this a, a dungeon? No. There was something in this uh, island. I don't remember what it was though. And awesome, we have fog. Just to make this more eerie. <laughs> yeah, I think this is, was an awesome addition to the game. Oh, there, there you go. This was it. Hmm, why is there a side of grace? Oh, it's one of these towers. Okay. Doesn't matter. So before I turn back and try to get to the to that weapon buff, we'll get uh, to talk with uh, a special special friend of ours, a blacksmith. is right around the corner if I'm not mistaken. And maybe, maybe we'll uh, get into the castle and kill the first major boss. There we go. So if you go into these ruins, there's like a bunch of Magic enemies are annoying. Oh, we can kill them pretty easily. What are you? God damn it. They have to teleport, right? Fuck. Dude, just die, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this NPC? No. Underground tomb ahead. No, there's no underground tomb. Oh, maybe it's on the other side. Fuck! Yo! Magic. My worst enemy. Yeah, fuck. Teleport from that dude. Just want to go. So I think there was something here. It's not an underground tomb like this guy said. 
He was an asshole. Do you say anything? Ah, uh, E.G., forgive me. These royal grounds were placed on our trusts, but we stood no chance. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's just easy. E.G. So, you'll find this, like, weird, out of place uh, wall. You can hit it, and E.G. will appear. But I don't think that's the only thing you can find in these ruins. You know what? Fuck it. Not extremely important. And there he is! Our friend, the giant! Serve the Carian Royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. Oh, yes. So, EG is good because he sells somber smithing stones so what happens now is that i can farm some runes buy some uh, smithing stones and upgrade my weapons uh all we have to do now is before we continue with the story it's like find that buff i want so much So I have uh, went online and just checked uh, which uh, place has that special buff I've been talking about. So all you have to do, uh, it's called the uh, Blood Flame. All you have to do is go to this uh, Site of Grace by the church we just got. And uh, there's like a couple of scabbards around here. All you have to do is uh, kill him, or kill one. Uh, what this buff does, it makes the blade uh, have a blood flame ability. Which means our blood buildup will be a lot better than uh, it actually is right now. So, so there is like that guy. It's that one. You see that little scabbard over there? This is the guy we want. There you go. And Blood Flame Blade. What a beauty. So we have actually completed all the things I wanted to do uh, for today's session. Uh, before time. Bef uh, ahead of time, actually. So we're going to just start and get uh, Enhances right hand armament with blood flame. So what I'm going to do... Oh man, the thing is... I just realized something. I, I don't even know how to equip that. I, have fa I need faith 12. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get around that easily. I have 8 in faith. So, let's start the castle. Uh, next, I, I don't actually need the blood flame buff right now. Because we're a bit uh, 
overpowered, I think. For this part of the game. So, to go to the castle, you have to guys run around these guys. As we've been doing so far. Fuck that. I'm not gonna play with you. I don't think I've ever done this boss this late in the game. So I'm not expecting a huge problem to kill him. We have a friend though, if you want. But I don't think we need it. So market is pretty tough for a first boss. He has like what? oh okay we don't do that much damage to him. So. Okay. We kind of do. Uh, it's actually pretty tough for a first boss. A lot of people are having problems with him when the game came out. Honestly, I do not remember the tactics for this guy. Okay. Oh, man, I completely forgot to block that. I was just so mesmerized by your attacks and your ability. Yo, don't you run from me now. Ooh! I'm not liking this. Uh -oh. Forgot to block. Yet again. Oh my god. Please. Please. Please don't die. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I'm, I think I'm gonna die to him. Oh, he's one hit! Dude, you know what? I'm gonna fucking kill you with an arrow. He's dead! <laughs> oh, no. I actually killed him with an arrow, dude. 